you are listening to betterment.com's Tracetheric podcast where we journey to the inside kingdom and unlock esoteric truths within now here is your host from mechanicalmotivation.com marquis taylor hello again hello again thank you for tuning in to today's message this is marquis taylor from mechanicalmotivation.com as well as www.bettermente.com better mind better people today i want to talk about a very exciting topic for me personally and i want to start off with a quote many people feel they are powerless to do anything effective with their lives it takes courage to break out of the settled mold but most find conformity more comfortable This is why the opposite of courage in our society is not cowardice, it is conformity. Genuinely, I believe conformity is quite the challenge for us as a species, but one that needs to be overcome in order to achieve any sort of greatness. I find it to be the root of quite a bit of our struggles as a species conforming and doing what most people do you see it's, it's very simple we cannot solve the problems that we currently have with the same thinking that caused those problems in the first place and in order to progress through life we must travel to places that are not normally traveled to we cannot continue to do what most people do because we'll continue to act like the wrong percentage of people and will perpetuate the same problems that most people have so uh i was listening to earl nightingale's the strangest secret and i listen to that periodically if you don't know that is the world's first gold record it's the first to sell more than a million copies and that record has been extremely pivotal in my personal development as well as many others but that's where i heard that original quote from and it's 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 so important to know that The problems we have will continue to keep going if we continue to do what most people do. And a lot of different examples can be shown in your day-to-day life. So, for example, let's take a look at automobiles. At some point in time, someone had to non-conform in order to create the automobile. They had to do what most people were doing in order to manufacture the automobile for the masses. And the same can be said for the Wright brothers, they had to non-conform. They had to do what most people won't do. See, most people would quit when it comes to trying to invent something new. Most people would give themselves every excuse under the sun about why they cannot succeed. That is a conforming type thing. It's easier to blame it on something else other than someone's lack of determination or lack of passion, so to speak. It's so much easier to do that, and that is the conforming part that really hurts people in the long run. See, the way I I look at it is doing what most people don't do will reap the most benefits in the long run. In the short term, it's easier to just do what most people do. Right then and there, it's easier to come home and just chill and watch tv and you know it's easier to not work out it's easier to not eat healthy it's easier to just go to work and that's it all those things are easier in the ultimate long game though when we get to our deathbed we're going to know we were so much more capable of so much and didn't even attempt to because we were too busy conforming and doing what's easy that's that's the big thing i i just i totally totally vibe with that because i've personally seen people die Not just from car accidents, but in their deathbed, watching someone die. And I've actually held someone in my arms when they passed away. And because I've gotten to see death in this way, it makes me more passionate about living my life at its maximum and not conforming. I don't take it for granted. And that's why I think that it's it's so important to continue to strive for greatness and go where most people don't go. Do what most people don't do. Learn what most people don't learn. It's it's said that if you ever want to hide something from someone, put it in a book. Well, if you ever want to hide something from the masses, put it in a book. That's because most people don't read. Most people don't go to the seminars. Most people don't talk and connect with the successful. Most people never never got to the class. They never picked up the information or wrote down the the life changing concept. That's such a game changer for so many people because. 
I've noticed that the massively successful people, it's not that they do something extravagant. It's really the small things. It's the small things that are overlooked and they keep doing it. They don't just quit. You know, you don't build a wall in a day. You lay one brick as perfectly as you can and soon you have a wall. It's the small things of repetitively doing it. And that's just the that's the thing. If people want to really get rid of a lot of their problems in their life, such as, you know, with relationships or health issues, financial struggles. And let's say someone's going through a existential crisis, there's going to have to be some type of shift in thinking that most people don't think about. It's that simple. Our our problems will persist. It's what what is it that uh, T.D. T. Jakes, he says this following quote you can change your hair you can change your clothing you can change your address you can change your spouse but if you don't change your mind the same experience will continue to perpetuate itself over and over and over again because everything outwardly changed but nothing inwardly changed and this is something I I totally see is valid because I look back at what my life was just a few years ago and where I am now completely shifted in confidence level. I attract a lot more success into my life and more positive people. I've been to places most, pe most people don't go. I've learned about things most people have no concept of. I'm not particularly a, a outrageously intelligent person yet because I have a college degree doesn't necessarily make me super intellectual. I just know what most people don't know. I'm more specialized with my thinking. And this is why I can tell and see certain things because I have absorbed certain things that most people don't know. It's, it's a game changer because a lot of problems that would happen in my life don't even, don't even happen because I'm already aware of certain things from personal development books, seminars, certain things about my health, uh, even just even just things like working out. Most people go to work out. I'm sorry. Most people do not work out, but a lot of people go to work out and they don't necessarily take the right steps to get the most out of their workout. And I'm, I'm not like a trainer or anything like that. But what I've learned is to have the advantages. It will not come from a conformist mentality. There's no one in this world I know who in their right mind will say, you know, I. I want to live a very disadvantageous lifestyle. I don't want to have a lot of advantages. I don't know anyone who would say that. I can always tell you every single time, no matter what you look at, the person with the most advantages does what most people don't do. In fact, any time that you're seeing something happen in life and most people are doing it, the general populace is doing it, it should, it should make you want to examine further. It doesn't necessarily mean that what they're doing is wrong. But it should let you know that there must be something missing. There must be some type of advantage by doing something different. There must be something more to gain by doing what most people won't do. That's just true across the board. Most people weren't willing to go through, what was it, 27 different publishers? Is that what J.K. Rowling had to go through? And it's because she decided to persist and do what most people won't do. That's why that happened. Same thing for Harriet Tubman. She didn't just go back and get more slaves one time. She kept doing it. And those, because she did that, there are generations of people today that may not have ever been here. And it's, it, it just comes down to the fact that people have to look in the long game. And that's the big thing is getting, getting a plan set up for the long game more so than the short game. For example, network marketing, huge fan of that industry. Network marketing by popular demand typically it's like you are in the most underpaid profession on the face of the earth in the beginning in the beginning that's how it is but in the long run it's the most overpaid profession in the world you get involved in network marketing for two to five years consistently doing what you need to do you're going to grow into a big business. No matter what anyone does in life, you do something consistently long enough, you will get good at it. And that's another thing about non-conforming, persistence. People quit before they get a chance to get the, the advantage they need. I was just listening to an audio today about someone in uh, a network marketing business, and they said, had we quit 14 months in, that would have been 
a two million dollar mistake today. It's just the reality. <laughs> it's the reality that conforming hurts more than people realize. Doing what most people would do in situations is not the advantageous way. Even Bob Ross says this very simply. Don't be afraid to go out on a limb because that's where all the fruit is. It's very simple. And and, and I, I see a lot of people who, you know, climb the corporate ladder in America. And I get a little bit confused, but I understand people are just doing what they know. It's not really necessarily about how fast or how high you climb the ladder if it's leaning on the wrong wall. People are basically not checking the fruit in life. You know, to, to have the type of lifestyle where we have the freedom and the, the joys to spend with our family, that comes from doing what most people won't do. You know, we might get a taste of of greatness, but to continuously experience the growth of what it takes to be a person who has the freedom to be their own person, it comes from a nonconformist mentality. Most people think that you can only progress through life so much. You can only do so much. They don't have the abundance mentality, but a select few people do have the abundance mentality. In fact, in the next podcast, I'm going to be talking more about the money mindset and how you attract more wealth into your life, not just monetarily speaking, there's other forms of payment as well. But ultimately, the big thing to understand is that conformity is the enemy. Cowardice is not the biggest issue. It's it's mainly because people are doing the wrong, what the wrong percentage of people are doing. If 95% of the people aren't where they want to be in life, then we're going to have to do what the other 5% are doing. It's it really comes down to that. And I can see in my life and it's it's events that are happening that are attracting more of the desires for myself into my life. Slowly but surely it's all happening. And to to be patient is what most people don't do. A lot of people lack patience. They don't build the patience. Most people don't develop what's called they don't they don't actually discipline their disappointment most people just are they avoid disappointment as if it's it can be a bad thing and disappointment doesn't need to be a bad thing when you learn to discipline it when you expect that disappointment is a part of the process and you know that when that happens you're getting closer to your goal then it totally shifts the mentality and all of these things have been written i've read more than 17 different books about personal development been the countless seminars listen to countless audios done speeches of my own and i'm seeing the effects happen in my life because i'm applying what i've learned and that's another thing to know knowledge without application is useless people are learning stuff all the time but they're not applying it anywhere <laughs> so it it doesn't it, it doesn't make sense to keep learning and not apply anything that has been absorbed in fact that's just using up time so to speak and uh I just want people to understand and I really want to hit home that if people are doing what most people do, there's going to be more and more difficulty happening in someone's life. You're going to have to shift your way of thinking to doing what most people don't so you can do and live the life most people won't live. That's basically what it comes down to. You have to take the path less traveled. Don't be afraid to take the high road because there's no traffic there. So that's basically what it takes. And I, I enjoy basically vibrating at this higher frequency, basically functioning on this higher level of thinking, because now I've understood that a lot of problems go away. <laughs> the mentality that I've developed, it, it, it shifts things. And this isn't just me. These are my mentors. These are people who I know personally. The, I've seen things and I've read and understand that the nonconformist lifestyle is something that is hurting society. It really is. People have to learn to not just think outside the box, but even on a deeper level, think about why the box exists in the first place. A lot of people put themselves in their own boxes. And whether you do or not isn't really the main focus. The focus is learning why limit yourself. Jim Carrey has a really good quote. I love this quote. He says, our mind Basically, our soul is not contained within the limits of our body, but our body is contained within the limitlessness of our souls. So our basically our whole 
persona and what we're capable of is limitless. And that abundance mentality is a, a non-conformist mentality. Most people think they're only s capable of so much. They're limited. When as human beings, we are capable of anything and everything. So ultimately, that's basically what I wanted to share today. It was something that was heavy on my mind. There was a lot of different nuggets I dropped in there. Feel free to share, like, and comment. I hope you found serious value to today. Again, you can find this on www.bettermente.com, Better Mind, Better People, as well as MechanicalMotivation.com. We also have a YouTube channel where all of our Tresoteric podcasts are uploaded, and I'm very excited because we're really, really gaining some serious momentum here. Thank you so much for tuning in and look forward to seeing you in the next message.